another presentation of the MGM Concert Hall. Last week, Meredith Wilson completed his series of ten immortal fa- of ten immortal favorites. Tonight, he starts a new series of popular masterpieces. And for his first number, he has chosen a composition which 20 years ago was on almost every piano in America. A song whose title most of you have probably forgotten, but whose melody I'm sure you will remember instantly. It's called Mercedes. Beautiful, Meredith. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, another hour behind the scenes in Hollywood brought to you from Metro Golden Mare. Your ticket of admission is just your loyalty to Maxwell House Coffee. So be sure and tune in and hear Fanny Bright, Frank Morgan, Alan Jones, and Meredith Wilson. We'll also have with us again Maureen O'Sullivan, Lionel Barrymore, and Jack Conway, who directed us in a Yank at Oxford over in England last summer. And that famous jello salesman, Jack Benny. So, I hope you'll be with us next Thursday. In the meantime, go to the movies and enjoy yourself. This is Bob Taylor saying good night until next week. Flash. We salute the San Francisco Chronicle, who are honoring Fanny Bryce by starting a Baby Snooks contest. The musical selection, always and always, is from the Joan Crawford Spencer Tracy picture mannequin. Nice work, if you can get it, is from the picture Damsel in Distress. You appeal to me, is from Happy Land.
This is Ted Pearson saying good night for the makers of Maxwell House. The coffee that's always good to the last drop. This is the National Broadcasting Company.